hello everyone this is a model gamer and welcome to mk mobile and guys this video is going to be uh, based on uh, crypt today we will talk about crypt only so let me tell you that what are the things that i am going to cover in this video about crypt first uh, uh, i will talk about that how you can collect up to three to four thousand crypt hogs per day and uh, how to do crypt faster without getting bored many think that crypt is boring and uh, it's so much grindy and it takes a lot of time to do it so i will tell you what is the best way to play crypt so that you can you can't get bored and you don't have to grind a lot and which is the best mode in the crypt to play and how to play and how to grind so that you you don't need to grind a lot and we will also talk about the new season of the crypt what are the good characters and uh, which you should buy which are just garbage and uh, which equipments are good and everything we will talk about so uh, before we move on to the anything let's just spend 20,000 gift hearts that I collected in the last season let's just purchase Liu Kang and Radiance Brutality gear and then we will uh, move on to here again and we will talk about the crypt store and all that guys let's go and talk about the new season of crypt first and then i will tell you that how to do crypt fast and how to collect up to two to four thousand crypt hearts per day and so that you can in that way you can easily collect up to twenty thousand or twenty five thousand crypt hearts per season as i do you could see it there guys so i'm going to tell you that is that exact way that how did i collect it, the, those amount of crypt hearts you can even collect more if you have it luckily if you luckily have more better bonus point characters okay so let's talk about the new store here you can see guys the uh, 14,000 crypt hearts first strike force johnny cage cold war sub-zero black dragon cabal 10,000 crypt hearts each and the lizard jade that is exciting because lizard characters are uh, always uh, i mean uh, rare in this game and these are best characters so i would suggest you to buy at least one copy of lizard jade if you don't have her because her passive is so good and she is so good even uh, last time few few seasons before there was uh, lizard baraka there and um, i got lizard noob as well so now only jade i don't have so i will purchase her for sure i would also suggest you to purchase her or you can go for strike force johnny cage I would not suggest you to buy anyone else and if you want you can purchase Cassie Cage as well if you are a beginner she will help you in grinding towers and other stuffs. So let's talk about Lizard Jade. For every debuff that Lizard Jade or her teammate apply to the active opponent, her whole team gains the team thrill effect for 20 seconds. It stacks up to 5 times. I mean whenever Lizard Jade or her teammate apply any debuff to the opponent team, they will gain the thrill effect for 20 seconds. What's the thrill effect? Let's talk about this. Each of the team thrill effects buff all of Lizard's Jade's basic and special attacks to additionally deal 10% of his damage to the all the opponents. Thrill effect is that whenever you do the damage to the opponent, the 10% of that damage will be done to the all opponents who are tagged out. That is the thrill effect. These are dates combo and does have 50% chance to apply curse. With each team thrill effect, Lizard Jade's team intimidates the active opponent into the power generation being reduced by 10%. Lizard teammates have 30% chance to reflect any debuff. Okay, 
So if you if you play her with Lizard teammates, there is 30% chance to deflect any debuff to the opponent. And Thrill effect also reduce the opponent's power generation by 10%. So always buy her. Uh, and I would suggest you to buy a strike force Johnny case as well. So let's talk about the equipment. Here guys, you can got see here we have got Cinder's brutality gear, epic one. Guys, if you get any epic brutality gear in this store, just purchase her at any cost because epic brutality is so so rare to get in the towers. As I have grinded twice Sorcerer's Fated Tower, I did not get Epic Brutality Gear. I have a lot of 2 or 3 copies or 4 copies of their rare Brutality Gears, Sangsung and Reptile. But I haven't got their rare Epic Brutality Gears yet. As I have grinded twice the Sorcerer's Fatal Tower, I didn't get and even I haven't got uh, any Epic Random Drop as well. So please do not miss epic gears because I am not sure that you are going to get it whenever their respective towers will come. As it is the gear of twisted tower, I, I can't guarantee you and no one can guarantee you that you will get this gear for sure in that tower. So, so please don't miss out the epic gears otherwise you won't be able to collect the brutality gears of any character because you need one epic and one rare for each character to complete their brutality set. And uh, if you wish, you can buy Cabal's Brutality Gear as well, as its other uh, specialties are also good. 20% chance to apply poison for 6 seconds to the active uh, opponent uh, at the start of the match, 10% chance, chance to apply poison to the enemy after gaining speed, and uh, that's all set. So, if you want, then you can purchase uh, this rare one as well, but I would highly recommend to purchase this one. 35% max health boost, 20% power generation boost, oh my god, this gear is even better if, if, when we don't use it on the Cinder as well. And in the Twisted Tower you will get 300% max health boost, let's talk about how, what if you use it on Cinder. Cinder has 50% chance to scream when her teammate is being attacked with a special attack. The scream de deals low damage, applies slow to the opponent and slightly heals Cinder, wow. And it's a brutality gear, you know. If this is equipped alongside Tamer's Whip, any Diamond Cinder gains 40% chance to perform a special combo and uh, dealing high damage and all that. So purchase Epic Gear and Lizard Jade or Strike Force Johnny. Okay, so now it's time to talk about that how to do creep faster and how to collect up to two to four thousand creep tiles per day. So let's talk about how to collect for up to two to four thousand crypt tiles per day. Okay, I'm gonna talk about that which difficulty is the best to grind the crypt faster and collect maximum amount of crypt hearts. Guys, I will always suggest you to play in the hard difficulty, not even in the difficulty. And as you know, normal difficulty is not gonna give you anything. Elder difficulty has four floors very tough battles and not huge amount of difference between the crypt hearts you get from hard difficulty and elder difficulty okay in hard difficulty if you use bonus characters you can get up to 1500 to 2000 crypt hearts once completing it and hard difficulty takes very less time as compared to elder difficulty and i will tell you that how you can spend more less time than it usually takes in each of the cases with you guys okay so please don't play elder difficulty i would never suggest you because it takes a lot of time and the rewards are i mean there's no huge difference between the crypt hearts you get from there and here okay so if you are to take my opinion i'm not sure what do you think about it but it's my opinion as i have played crypt a lot before so i would suggest you to play hard difficulty you will not get bored, you will not feel a lot of grindy. I mean, you will not feel that crypt is a lot grindy if you play hard mode and you can easily collect up to 20 to 25,000 crypt hearts per season uh, by this way. So, see, guys, uh, I mean, there is no need to go with the strongest characters. Let me show you. I am not, I haven't come with the strongest team at because I did not have bonus characters as my strongest characters. 
so please there's no need to go with strongest team the important thing is to go with the bonus characters here my rain gives me 1.5 times bonus my fujin 1.2 and raiden 1.2 so if you don't have a lot of 1.5 times bonus characters just go with 1.5 character one character with 1.5 bonus two characters with 1.2 times bonus and it will be totally two times of bonus i mean here you can see here here you can see it's showing that two times of bonus that means only using one character with 1.5 times of bonus two characters with 1.2 times of bonus you can get twice of that uh, of the crypt hearts you collect if you collect 1000 crypt hearts you get 1000 more crypt hearts as bonus that means you can collect uh, 2000 crypt hearts in just one run and here you can see you are getting minimum 1200 from here and maximum 2226 script hearts that means if you fight all the battles and complete all the floors completely then you will get up to 2000 script hearts from one run and don't do this otherwise you will have to fight a lot and you, you will say that crypt is boring and grindy here you can see guys on the screen that there are few battles like two three of in few cases it's up to four battles that are just worthless can you please tell me what are the advantage of fighting this battle you are getting nothing from these battles you just go and fight them and even there are chances that your character might get killed and you will have to use revive potion or if uh, revive stone or if you don't have revive stone you will have to purchase it from the store by spending 50 souls so please don't fight any battle that comes in your way simply move in the another direction and collect all the uh, things that you get hearts or any consumable and once there is no way to move any other direction just then only fight any battle there is no need to fight any random battle that comes in your way it's just kind of trap you can get killed and you may lose your character and it will be time consuming as well can you please tell me that how much time will it take to fight all these battles that are of no use so it will take time so don't fight any battle that comes in your way just move in another direction when there is no way to move forward just fight the battle and then you will get way to move forward and in every floor in every difficulty there are up to couple of battles or more than couple of battles that you just don't need to fight so don't fight those battles and fight only those battles that are necessary and play hard difficulty there are only three floors there and characters are i mean not so much at high fusions and not not so much strong so you can easily finish the hard difficulty in less time even with weak characters you can see i have got one fusion one character one fusion zero character and one fusion ten character dark rhythm and i'm gonna finish this difficulty hard difficulty with this team only and i have done this before in the last season you could see i collected twenty thousand plus script hearts and you just did need to do complete hard difficulty twice a day and you can collect up to three to four thousand crypt hearts per day and if you uh, multiply it by six or seven days it becomes twenty thousand plus or twenty five thousand plus per season and if you have twenty five thousand crypt hearts you can purchase anything from here okay so use this technique play hard difficulty you will not get bored you will not have to grind a lot if you play elder difficulty it's gonna make you bored a lot i am sure because in other difficulty the map is so long each floor and it becomes more lengthy and longer as the as you advances the to the next floor and the battles are also hard characters come with fusion at fusion x is most of them are diamonds and the boss battles are also tough uh, but you even you don't get uh, that much high reward and they have they have stopped giving bonus characters on the highest i mean that are to your strongest characters as you can see i have got only dark garden and fusion x from all my bonus characters i can't show you right now because i am in the crypt otherwise i could have shown you that there are only two characters with fusion 2 and this season most of the elder gods have the bonuses i have got two rain 
at Fusion Zero and both of them had 1.5 times of bonus only, only two characters. So you can't play other difficulty with bonus characters like this. So hard difficulty is best in any case of scenario. So please play hard difficulty, it will not take a lot of time, just grind it twice a day. If you are much more interested, grind it thrice a day, you will get you can easily collect up to 20,000 or 25,000 plus script hearts per season and purchase anything you want from here. But yeah, I will highly recommend to purchase uh, Temer's Hessian boots that Cinder's Brutality Gear and Blizzard Jade or Strike Force Johnny Boy you want. You can also purchase Cabal in Sub Zero, but I would suggest you to purchase Lizard Jade or Johnny Cage. And highly recommended this brutality game because I don't know you're gonna get it anytime. I mean, from anywhere, not even from the tower, respective tower. Which one is this tower? Twisted Tower. I can't get even, no one can guarantee you. As I, you can see, I haven't got the brutality gear of strength so reptile from here. And the fatal tower has gone, and the next tower is Edenian Tower, which will be there in just. Uh, seven days so guys thank you so much for watching this video till the end i hope uh, this would help you and if if so then please hit the like button and do a comment down there and uh, see you in the next video bye bye